I'm local and I just had the best time yesterday at the Plaza Live or Saturday. We saw the Fab Four, this Beatles <sighs> tribute band that was incredible. incredible. So I think we're live, but let me go check right now. I'll just check because Be Live is mm -hmm. not letting me know. They're little funny people here. Let's see. Am I live, everyone? Anyone tell me? It Let's is. see. Oh, it says you are live. Oh, good. We're live. All right. So welcome, everyone. I am really excited today. First of all, this is probably one of the most exciting conversations we can have. I just met Emily literally three minutes ago. We just had a few things. I asked her a question, and that was it. So let me introduce Emily Alexandra Guglielmo. Huh? And look at this globally known professional mermaid, published model, makeup mogul, and clean water. So we got a lot to talk about. So we just confirmed you're out of Orlando. Yeah. I'm Daytona Beach. So I want to know, so I, can I ask the question that I asked you beforehand live? Just yes. to, Okay, so I, my, my first question was, because everyone loves the mermaids and all the girls, and my fourth child turned out to be a daughter, so we could take her to see the mermaids at Wikiwachi. And, of course, I think that's a question. Of, oh, are you a mermaid at Wikiwachi? So what was that answer? Well, and that usually is a first question that I get a lot from people because Wikiwachi is uh, such an iconic brand and place. Uh, for Florida. Now, I am born and raised Floridian. And when I first started mermaiding about nine years ago, uh, Mick Wikiwachi actually asked me to be one of their mermaids. Um, but the, if you work for Wikiwachi, you are extremely exclusive. You have to sign a contract. You can only work for them. You can't do other gigs at other places. And you can't post on social media except for you in a tail at Wikiwachi. You can't like even post with you in a tail at other places. So they're extremely exclusive. So I'm glad at that time I, I chose not to. Um, instead, I started my own agency, Mermaid Agency. And from there, it just, it just went off. It, it was very organic. Um, and I started getting calls through my website. And so I, I definitely know I made the right choice. Did you ask for advice? Did you ask your friends and family and business mentors, you know, what you should do? Or did you just kind of like, no, maybe this won't be good. For I me. chose at the time, about nine years ago, the mermaid industry was so much more smaller than it is. It, it, and now it still is a small niche. Right. But before about nine years ago, there was absolutely no one uh, really in the, the community, if you will. So I, I chose, I chose myself just because looking in the far future, I was like, okay, if I make a website and I really do this right, I could be getting a lot more gigs than just that one place. And plus, Wikiwatchy doesn't pay their mermaids very well. So, so good for, so, so, okay. So we won't go into that, but that's very interesting. You said you would be literally tied down and I'm thinking, wait, are mermaids like, when you're under the water, how does that work? How are you? Do you have weights on or are you tied down? I don't understand how you well, are under the that water That is a so good much. question because a lot of it is buoyancy and learning how to um, make yourself have more weight and, and then be able to go up and float. Um, <clears throat> the tail itself is probably 30, 40 pounds. The tail itself is quite heavy. So it acts as, an, as a natural weight. Um, a lot of it is is practice, more practice in how to like stay buoyant, how to stay under the water. And, um, and you know, even though I'm a, a nine year vet mermaid, I there's still a lot of uh, new tips and tricks I learn all the time from other mermaids. Okay, I have to ask about your childhood. <laughs> like, who are you? So like, because it was being a mermaid a vision. I just I'd like to get a little feeling for for your growing up. And so and where I did grew you grow up? up was that Tampa. Orlando? I'm actually a, a Tampa native because then once I was 18, I, I went and, and traveled around the country and stuff like that. And then now I, I'm planted in Orlando, but I was born and raised in Tampa. And every single weekend, my dad would take my sister and I and our friends to the beach. We would you know, snorkel, scuba dive, free dive. We'd, we'd pick I mean, sand dollars with our toes. And so I feel like I've, I was, I'm already naturally a water baby at heart. Um, a really good swimmer. Uh, my dad had a swimming at like six months old and, uh, which is funny because my mom does not know how to swim. Ironically. I know. She never learned how to swim. And then oh, wow. a professional mermaid. <laughs> my dad's a professional surfer from Hawaii. Um, 
but yeah, we were at the beach like every weekend. So, okay. So that makes sense. So you're going into it and that's like, really, uh, was it a little girl's dream that came true or were you a little older? So you were, that you decided, wait, this well, could be for me. And how did you even I, know and hear about I actually, being a mermaid so or wiki watching? I 21 and I started doing some research online on, you know, costumes, mermaid tales. And I ran into a website called Mertailer and he is out of Crystal River, which is ironically <laughs> right next to wiki Wachi. And he creates these mermaid tails that are full silicone rubber. So they feel like dolphin. They feel like a real fish. And they're it's made uh, just for my body. Specifically, it's molded to my legs and my feet. So it can only fit me. And at the time, again, nine years ago, there was no phone. It was all through the website. And, you know, I ordered it. It took months to get to me. For a while, I thought it was like a scam. I didn't know. But long story short, it came and arrived in the mail. It fit me perfect. Um, I actually went to the beach and did a photo shoot. And at that time, when I did my first photo shoot with my tail, people started walking up to me at the beach asking if they could hire me for their children's birthdays. And it, it, I was like, wow, okay, so this could be a thing. And that's when I decided to make my website and from there, it just happened. It lifted off organically. Oh my gosh, good for you. By the way, when I bought my daughter, one of the like Amazon mermaid and all the kids <laughs> want to use it, I said, oh no, this was made exclusively for a lot of, so nobody yeah. can touch it. Cause I knew that kids will rip it. And actually when I see kids with their mermaid tails, I always say to them, you know what? When someone's gonna ask exactly. you to borrow it, tell them that it's made just for you cause they will rip it on you. All right, so what would you, what advice would you give a young girl or boy, right? You could be a boy and a mermaid. Okay, good. So what advice would you give, uh, you know, a young girl that's watching this or sees a mermaid and says, I could do this. What would you yeah. share? Okay. I, I love that because I, I do have mermen on my roster and I do get calls a lot for mermen as well. So you can be a mermaid, a merman, doesn't matter. And it's so easy to be a mermaid. Anyone can be a mermaid. Nowadays, especially, there's so much more access to tails on Amazon. They're they're very, very affordable. And if you're a good swimmer and you can get a tail, that's it. You're a mermaid. Do it. Oh, my God. So, wait. So, are you in the event industry in Orlando? I am. Yep. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. We probably know a lot of the same people. I was six years in celebration and very active with the event industry. So, so uh, there's a great resource too called find them F Y at F Y N D them for event bros. Uh, Jamie runs it. And uh, just an FYI, oh, cool. it's really great because you have all the hoteliers and the events asking for, you know, something different. So, wow. so let me get this straight. So I understand besides obviously your home. Yeah. And if you have a pool hotels, you could yes. go into a hotel pool oh, and do yeah. a show. I mean, and it, depending on oh, the client, I mean, the clients vary. Uh, we've done conventions, uh, expos, festivals, big mansion parties, children's parties. Uh, we do a lot of resorts. I mean, it varies. And a lot, a lot of them also, if they don't have a pool or water, I'll come and set up like this massive, beautiful clamshell where I sit in the clamshell and people can come and I have like a really big uh, treasure chest with treasures. So we make it very nautical and oceanic uh, for them to like come up and take pictures and stuff. So you don't need water either. <laughs> I love it. That makes sense. Did you, um, have you swam at the B hotel in Fort Lauderdale? Is that the hotel that yes, actually has I've a tank? There before. I've done some stuff with them. And I do know the mermaids that um, actively have a show there. It's incredible. That is cool. Are you a member of like Meeting Professionals International or have gone to Ooh, any of their events? I feel like I should. You've MPI. Yes. Anyone at MPI, reach out. Yes. Meeting Professionals International is great. There's um, Central Florida. I was actually on the board for South Florida, but they are also a mix of uh, vendors and suppliers and your info. event pros. So that would be a good one. Please. Oh, I'm happy to help you with that. Oh my gosh. There's, or you're in the, the perfect market, obviously. So really, uh, in Central Florida Hospitality and Lodging Association, are you going to wow, those Wow. I need to. All of this is incredible. Ooh. Like, 
you do everyone watching this live this is actually a little bit of like the mentoring yeah. the reason for that there's a, a cfhla is amazing and that's really a group with hoteliers but we have and i'd love to invite you in daytona beach we have bob davis's group which is the volusia hotel lodging association or daytona hotels I, i'll send you the link Please. but that's also a good one. Oh, and you know who else you need to get in touch with is the Orlando Convention yes. and Visitors oh, Bureau. God, please. Okay. Oh, my God. The CVB. Uh, the CVB is great because they have a lot of mingling events. Nice. And again, anywhere where you have the hoteliers and the event pros where they're bringing. So, okay, please. I will send I mean, you I afterwards all the different today. groups. That'd be incredible. Thank you. Oh, no, I totally understand what it's like when you're getting out there. Now, I saw, so you're beautiful, your picture, actually, your picture of yourself and your bathing suit. Is, it's so lovely because, you know what, you're really showcasing your beauty, and it's not, like, sexual at all. I looked at it, I thought, oh, my God, this is just, like, a really beautiful Thank photo you. of a beautiful human being. Love I love that. that. So I love this. Okay, so we got the mermaid. I think that's so yeah. cool. And I definitely want to help you to like spread the word of that because in all honesty, now events are getting boring. So you've got to do unique and different exactly. things. And this is just an exciting. Yes. And most hotels have pools. <laughs> but you don't need a pool. But what about the beach? So when you say, do you do events and the beach and how, what does that look like? Yeah. Cause I, that was an interesting uh, one. I actually did one a uh, couple weeks ago at the beach for make a wish foundation. And we did the, we had the big clamshell where I sat, on the beach and then um i did like a private lesson with with uh she was about five years old and we had her become a real mermaid and i showed her how to put on the the tail it was a cloth tail um but we put the cloth tail on her and she got makeup and became a beautiful princess mermaid it was really fun but it was it was on the it was okay. like on the sand incredible that sounds beautiful. I forgot a big one. Debbie Astris. I, I'm sorry. I forgot this one. Party Planners, Party Planners Network. Network. Okay. That is a great group run by someone I absolutely adore and love, Debbie Andrew. So amazing. Okay. So now, I, so I, I think this is just a fantastic what you do, but I want to go into your makeup line because I think that is really, really cool and your brushes and everything. So I'd like yeah. to hear first, a little bit of business here. I want to hear what your mission and your vision is. And if you have both yeah. off the top of your head uh, for your makeup line. So I'll ask that yeah. question first. Well, okay. So when I, when I became a professional mermaid, Back in 2012, I would wear makeup and whenever I would do uh, water shows, like in the pools or the big tanks, which by the way, those are my favorite when I swim in the big tanks, because it looks like a fish swimming in the tank, um, my makeup would come would come off. So that was kind of where I came up with the idea to um, have it come to fruition. I wanted a makeup line that not only would be good for your skin, but it'd be safe for the coral reefs. So all of the makeup you can wear like in the water, in the ocean, and it won't um, seep off your skin onto the coral reefs. And it dries matte, it's water resistant, it's sweat resistant, it's vegan, cruelty free. I have a lot of entertainers that um, do shows on stage under the big bright lights and the makeup stays on. It took many years to create the, you know, the formulas, ingredients, and, you know, tweaking back and forth. And I'm still working on new formulas, which, by the way, we are coming out with a whole new product line this January 2022. So I'm so excited um, with new and improved formulas and ingredients. Um, so when I decided to finally, uh, it took years in the making, but it finally came to fruition uh, 2019. So when we launched Emily Alexander Cosmetics, at that time, I started a nonprofit called supportingwater.org. Now, supportingwater.org, it's a nonprofit where I find and raise money to bring drinking water to emerging nations in new and innovative ways. So very simple, uh, mobile, innovative ways to have uh, drink, you know, potable drinking water. So for every purchase from the cosmetic company, as well as the mermaid agency, a portion of every purchase goes back into uh, supportingwater.org where we find and raise money to bring drinking water to third world nations. So I started the nonprofit at the same exact time. Now, the reason why I started the nonprofit wow. is 
this was such like a ghost passion of mine. Like ever since I was a little girl, you probably remember seeing like the infomercials uh, with the kids from, you know, Indonesia, you know, for 10 cents a day, you can, you can help. So I remember seeing those type of commercials when I'm, you know, seven, eight, nine years old, and they really hit me. So my whole life, I've always had this passion to help, you know, emerging nations have drinking water, even food, things that they need that are actually like, <laughs> they need it for life. So I said, why not make my own nonprofit? Now, I did not know it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. But I, I, I did it. I started, I created the nonprofit. And um, for every purchase, a portion of every purchase goes back into supportingwater.org. And we actually just got back from Africa two weeks ago. I'm so excited because this was our wow. very first international mission. Our first mission was in Puerto Rico two years ago when we first started. We did a mission um, at the top of the mountain of Jocko, which is in Puerto Rico, at the very, very top of the mountain. A lot of elderly live there that don't have access to drinking water. And it sometimes it takes them months to get down the mountain. Um, and there we actually put in a water filtration system that literally is powered by solar energy. There's no piping, no plumbing. The water literally gets filtered from the sun, from solar energy. It, it's absolutely incredible. Um, so our first international mission was two weeks ago. We went to Kenya and we went to Mombasa. We were right on the coast of Mombasa and Diani Beach. Now, supportingwater.org is my nonprofit, but I've I've partnered up with another nonprofit that does the same exact like-minded missions. They're called Water is Life. So we partnered up and we went together on this mission. And we got to hand out individual drinking straws, which look like this. And Wait, what? each individual drinking okay. straw, it's a filtered straw that you can literally filter um, water from any any source. Of, it could be a Dream. It could be a puddle. What? And whether you're a child or an adult, it doesn't matter. But this this straw filters any source of water into potable drinking water. So it has two uh, sections of filtration um, to get ionized. And then at the top, there's charcoal, uh, which actually makes it taste delicious. And I've tried it myself. I've actually drank from really filthy, nasty water with like dirt, Ebola, all of that. Um, and it was yummy. It was not only was it drinkable, it was, it was delicious because it, from the charcoal, it makes it taste better. Um, and this lasts for about a year. And when you go to suck it, if you can't, if it's, if it gets clogged and you can't suck it anymore, that's when you know it's done. So for like little kids that don't know, like when it's not good anymore, it'll naturally get um, clogged. So it will, it'll virtually stop. And that's when, you know, uh, it doesn't work anymore, but roughly about a year. And this is incredible for a lot of the Kenyans that live in the rural villages. They have, they have access to water, but they don't have access to filter filtered water. And that's the big issue is they have lots of water. They don't have access to be able to filter it. And a lot of them just drink it anyway, because they need water and there's nowhere around for them to filter. And it, it disintegrates your bones. It, it ruins your health. The longevity of your life is substantially, it substantially lessens. So Filtered water is crucial for the longevity of your life. <clears throat> this, I, I, it's such a beautiful thing. I, I can't even believe it. This, I, I can't, I like, wow, yeah. this is a wowie. This is changing lives. So, so you got the patent on it. Like, how yeah. does that work? So, is this so water? Is so, who created the, this? The nonprofit that we've partnered up with. 
they have the patent and they actually make these in their own warehouse uh, right here in the U.S. So it's very, very exciting. I also could see that for many that are traveling over seeking asylum and a refuge, they're really having trouble with water. I mean, this this is something that makes me want to cry beautiful tears because it is a beautiful, beautiful thing to have, to be able to, so you have that. And then I can, wait, so you have that and then you're, you're thirsty exactly. and then you see the I mean, worst would, and you can. It is mind blowing. I mean, you can mind blow, find, mind blow uh, from the street. Cause a lot of the, the slums in Kenya, they, there's like puddles from the street. They could actually drink from the puddle and get some water and it filters it 99.9% oh filters it. it it is incredible even people that go backpacking for people that go hiking uh yeah, yeah. what about ocean water what about ocean water that Would it filter out no. like the salts from it, the sea it's all is so Okay, so but from the everything water. else that's why like when we educate uh the kenyans when we went this last time two weeks ago uh it's very crucial that it's only water that goes through yep only water okay and then one last question on this piece so is it sold um also retail to the average person well, so or is it question. just going right like now, how are they selling the non -profit, my nonprofit, as well as their nonprofit. We only give these out uh, for free um, for, through the nonprofit, but we're looking at 2022 to get distribution because we feel like so many people would benefit the benefit from this. Um, so we absolutely are looking at uh, retail in the near future. Yes, yeah. so I, I actually see it I in every first that. aid kit. I mean, this is huge. Okay, so just a little pitch for SCORE. I don't know if you're familiar with SCORE, and Orlando has one of the amazing SCORE um, offices and locations, and uh, Lois is an incredible chapter chair. But we're 11,000 mentors throughout the United States, and we're certified business mentors. So we wow. have mentors that are experts at distribution. We don't. There's no charge and a lot of resources, but I would definitely team up with a mentor. Call your local yeah. SCORE, S-C-O-R-E, like SCORE, yeah. Orlando. They will help you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, how can we support your, uh, okay, your so nonprofit? Supporting, water, supporting water. water. That's our website. And we're also on social media for just at supporting water. And then the cosmetics, which I have a little sample right here. Um, this is really cool. There's, there's coral reef SPF in the products. Do you see the mermaid scales? Yeah. Wait. Oh my God. I, yes. But could we, wait, can we go back a second? Explain to me. I never thought that makeup could actually harm the water or your coral reef. So yeah. can you just share that? Well, that and part not of just makeup, but even story. sunblock and shampoo and conditioner. Like when you go okay. into the ocean, all of those like products seep off you and attach to uh, the coral reef, which essentially uh, kills them in the long in the long run. So a lot of people now are moving to clean products for your even shampoo and conditioner, uh, for SPF, like sunblock. I mean, Hawaii alone as a state, they only allow coral reef safe SPF on the island in their state. So that's just, that's just one prime example that shows oh my you, gosh. Um, I didn't know that. the trend of how people are really shifting from chemicals to more clean, uh, natural products, not just for your skin, but for your hair, um, even going inside your body. So it's really important for me to put coral reef safe SPF in um, all of the products. So all the products actually have sunblock in them. So you can wear the makeup at the beach, it'll stay on and you're protecting your skin. But it's really cool. I uh, made it as like, um, see the mermaid scales? And wait, is that in the lip balm? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, right there is beautiful. I love it. I will send you one. I love the color too, by the way. That's a beautiful color. Okay, this one's what's called Scarlet's. What's the name of the color? Now we are coming out with 
three new shades oh. for uh, 2022. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be up updating um, the website and social media. So just follow us. Stay, uh, stay tuned. Um, but yeah, for every purchase from the cosmetic company, a portion goes back into supportingwater.org. That is really very, very beautiful. And by the way, so let's go back to your makeup line. Thank First of all, kudos who's ever doing I, your website. Sister, I don't know if you do it yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, because it's a really lovely looking website. I mean, it's clean. I love the picture. I love the way it works. It's really, it's fabulous. It really is fabulous. And then your products are great, but that is so cool to know that your products are, oh, oh my gosh, we and I'm in Daytona Beach, so we're at the beach. So that is huge. I don't, what about um, retail stores? What about the, the stores? Are you going into, have you come up with a distribution method to sell them wholesale okay, so that's to the gift shops here? We are in like a lot of salon and boutique shops all over the country, but I have yet to get um, mass distribution. So please, if you can guide me in the right direction, it, it would benefit you to, you would get the finder's fee. And I would love, love, love to be, you know, directed in the right direction. That'd be incredible. Well, I think to going to like the hotel lodging and the CFHLA, I think all of that, I mean, the, I don't obviously won't do anything, but when you think about the fact that something you wear, when I think when I went to Hawaii, I was, I was so upset with anyone that I saw yeah. standing up on a coral reef. I was like going crazy, like get out the coral reef. But I, I don't know if I was wearing something. I could have well, been like not, killing on myself without and even and knowing it. That's fair, really not, disappointing. Not knows that. Um, but yeah, you absolutely should never touch coral reef. This is crazy. I, I definitely have next year too. I have, um, I, I just did a kind of like an interview commercial with um, Consumer Ripia. News TV. The nicest people came in. Wow. So they'll be back. Yeah, they just came into the Orlando market. So definitely they, they, they get sponsors yes. to pay for the advertising. So Please. they will love you. So I, I'll connect you as much as I can. But just the thought too, like I would think that any gift shops on the beach, yeah that it would make such a huge yeah. difference that they're buying the right products because people really do, we do care. And this is the year, like, this is the time now. We don't have any more time left to exactly. fix I our know. ocean, to fix our air, our climate. We yeah. have it now, really, this is a generation that has to do it. So you're, and the mermaid. So now when you're, so how do you combine both? Because I definitely could see the, the weave through it. But I'd like to hear from you how you're combining what you do as a mermaid to your yeah. um, makeup well, to so your nonprofit. One big um, asset with all of them is it's all like based around water. And I am very much a water baby. I mean, hell, my my sign, my zodiac sign is Pisces, which is two fish, ironically. I know. So oh. um, I really, yes. really, when I, when I'm, out there in the public and I'm doing um, live events or appearances or shows as a mermaid, I'm a really big um, ocean advocate uh, and water advocate. So I'm always um, educating about water safety and ocean conservation. So that's a really big component with all three. You are so likable. I'm a cancer, by the way. My mother was a Pisces. My Rudy is a Pisces. So I love everything you do. You're so likable. I, I just I just love everything about you. I'm so excited. This is why I, I keep doing this candid conversation show with no prep needed because it is, I, I mean, I get to meet someone like you. Okay, I, I know I was reading something about kindness and etiquette and like, so I could tell there's also another aspect of you and that is just being yeah. good to the environment and being good to yeah. each other. Can yeah, you share everywhere? Um, share your flask. Always, everywhere I go, I'm always trying to um, help sponsor companies that are doing like-minded missions that have a mission behind their company. Um, I really like to partner up and lift others that are just getting into the industry. Whether it's a new mermaid, I'll make sure that she gets lots of gigs and train her. Whether it's people that are really interested in makeup and want to know more about the mission behind the makeup. But I really love to partner up with people that have similar ideologies and are able to give back and help. And it's the camaraderie. You, you give back and it comes back times fold. I truly believe that. 
That is so beautiful. Are you like a mermaid <laughs> employment service? Like if I like, so if I was a mermaid, I'd say, I say, you say, okay, here, get everything set up. Do you help them to get like their one sheeter up and their information? And then they sign up with you and then yeah, you exactly. help to promote and them and actually, get them gigs. I also help. Um, I do the same oh. thing, the same concept for people that want to get into the acting industry because in Orlando and in Tampa, all over Florida, I do but mainly Orlando, since I'm in Orlando, I do a lot of um, like commercials, infomercials, acting stuff. So whenever I meet someone that's interested in getting into the acting industry, I help create their resume. I submit them to uh, agents to get an agent. And that's the same concept with people that want to be a mermaid. I uh, guide them to the right person to buy a tail. I train them with, because uh, I'm also a swimming instructor and I scuba dive. I do all of that. So I will train them with special techniques and tips and tricks and pointers on how to hold their breath longer and swim faster. And absolutely that all comes with the territory. <laughs> I have to ask you this. Can you please just share with me what an average day is? Cause you're doing an awful lot. You I, like, you could be like five people. We need to give you more time. So what, what time do you wake yeah, up? No what time kidding. do you go to That's bed? What happens in question. between? Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, so it varies. Every day is not exactly the same. But for, for virtually a, an average day is I get up around six, seven, I'll do some emails and then I go to the gym and work out. I come home, more emails, phone calls work. And then towards like the afternoon, I'll maybe do some like stretching yoga. Um, and then in the evenings, I really like to like de decompress, uh, maybe watch a show or some news, read a book. That's like an average day behind the scenes in the office. Cause it's funny, a lot of behind the scenes, um, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not swimming. A lot of it is behind the computer and phone calls, like the very mundane, like not very graceful and fun, but, um, for an average mermaid day, I will get up. I make sure that I have my hair all up and my hair is very curly naturally. So I'll make sure that I have my hair curly. I'll do my makeup. And when I do my makeup, it, I'll like add scales. I'll do it all out. Um, and then I'll go to my gig. And uh, it, depending on the gig, it varies. A lot of times, the most majority is children's parties. But depending on the gig, I'll go do my swimming. And then I'll come home. And always, whenever I'm done with a gig... I make sure that I have, which I don't have them right next to me, but I have um, eye drops because like if it's in the, in the chlorine, I'm keeping my eyes open because a lot of, you know, the individuals or the children that are swimming with me, they like to see, they'll swim with me underwater. So I am keeping my eyes open. Um, so my eyes are a little stressed at the end of the day. So I make sure I always uh, <laughs> put in eye drops. <laughs> I have to, have to. What, what did your eye doctor say about that? Like, does, what, like, what, what I mean, cause I would imagine they'd be know, like, the, you know, know stop doing long, that, Emily. Long term, it's, it is stressful on my eyes. Yep. Absolutely. Um, but if I maintain with, um, really good eye drops that are safe, clean products and get out the bacteria from the chlorine, um, I'm fine. But, you know, I have noticed, like, recently, I just bought glasses. I wear them when I'm on my computer for, like, long periods of time. Um, so okay. maybe from all of the years underwater, maybe that's why I have to wear uh, glasses in front of the computer now. But, yeah, it's just part of, yeah, that's the nature of the, the work, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Emily, you know what's interesting? You have a you have the ability to have a lot of streams of income. Like so you could have because you could do a you know a, a diet like the mermaid diet, perfect for diet. You could do your yoga. You yeah. could do your yeah. your a, a podcast show of of nurturing and growing mermaids. I mean, you have so many different things that you could do. How okay, many people so work for you? I, what's it, what's I your team? Do all I have one person full time and one person part time that are on my, um, my personal roster, but a lot of my, um, when it comes to like the cosmetics and a lot of the, uh, paperwork and, and I actually outsource to a third party. Yeah. I have to. Good. 
Good, good, good. You have to. You are incredible. You, I, I it's I, like I, I'm blown away, literally, by the mm -hmm. amount of Thank what you. you do and how lovely you are, and your your organic success I, is incredible. I mean, you're only limited by exactly. literally your limit is your time. Like that is it. Like 24 hours a day, you've got to rest and do everything. Otherwise. Well, no wonder you're internationally known. I, I say that. It's so funny you say that because I say that all the time. I'm like, if I had more than 24 hours in a day, I would be able to do so much more. But I do need, I love eight hours of sleep. You know, we are human. We can't overwork ourselves. But damn it, there was more hours in a day. I hear you. I hear you. <sighs> I love that. But the big thing is I want all of Orlando to know that you are there. We got to have every yeah. hotel. You need to be on the mind of every party planner, every event. Pro oh, no. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie will get you on her list to add so you could go to an event and see if yes. you like it. Yeah. I mean, I would say you got to go to the different events to make sure. Oh, yeah. This is a fantastic market for you to be in. And, and way to go with your career and, and you're inspiring little boys and girls to, to grow up and to, oh my gosh, what they're seeing and every, from your website to meeting I, I you, do, do you do meet yeah. and greets? And you got to write a book. Uh, you have to write a book too. Wait, I you, you know, I'm book. serious. Uh, I'm serious. A book. And you know what? I, oh, it's funny if you I say know, that you about the time. book, cause I was just talking, um, to, to she's kind of like my manager um and we were talking about writing a book but again the time so i'm looking at hopefully writing a book in the next one to three oh. years um god it's funny you say that because that is in the works i I don't know if you know this. So I have a, a client market domination, but that's what they do. So there are companies out there. So like you call Ooh. them up and they actually, they interview you and then they turn that in interview into a book. So there's a lot of great resources out there. So you don't have to wait. They do podcasts okay. where you run your own podcast. You've and then, to, so very, so really a lot of cool things. So that much. I, I need you. I, oh, I, I love yeah. that. Thank you. Someone needs me. <laughs> Hear that, everyone? <laughs> oh, I, uh, this has been such a pleasure. I can't wait to get it out. There's going to be a lot of tags yeah. because I mentioned a lot of people and I want to make sure that everyone knows who you are. I'll send you a link for where to go to like get your, get you know, sign up and yeah. uh, the meetings are great. And then you could decide if you go to a meeting, if you don't know, have like you have a book of all your pictures yeah. and who you are so yep. someone can see you and, you know, wearing yeah. shoes and then being a mermaid. <laughs> love it. Oh, do you have anything else you want to share before we go? Just please follow me on social media. Keep up with my adventures. There are so many exciting things coming for 2022. So definitely keep up. So you went to Africa and then two. So you got back just in time before the um, Omicron or whatever they're calling it. Omicron, yeah. but whatever. So, so you kind of just. We like so, we barely skidded by. Um, and even at the airport we had to get a COVID test and there was definitely red tape and protocol but we we made it we're here <laughs> i am so glad when i got the email and i you know looked i i, I wrote back and i said i said you know i wrote back i said who could say no <laughs> <laughs> i wrote i wrote who would say no Thank to an interview you. with emily like that was my first question i was like how could anyone cool. ever say no to you all right this is live I also down, I up, download and upload it to YouTube and then I push it out that way. So I want everyone to know who you are and I love it. And Emily Alexandra is the name of your uh, beautiful, yeah. incredible uh, makeup. Thank you so much. I do run a group uh, living with less and I'm going to uh, make a post oh, on that. Um, so, because I, I just want everyone to know about you. So You're thank you so much for your time today. Aww. And uh, yeah. Oh, I, I'll, I'll be in Orlando. I, I we pop into Orlando. So, but if you're in Daytona Beach, please Let's call me. Get, or I'm serious, like in the next two weeks for. I think holiday. you should come, but I think in January or it, you should start like have you come as a guest to Bob Davis's group, uh, the hotel lodging, so that because usually like your Park Plaza yeah. and Hilton, all the hotels really admire him. It's a wonderful I'm organization, in, so you can attend and be my guest. Good. Yeah. All right. So I'll meet you soon. Have a fantastic holiday. Thank, Thank you for you so everything much. you're you doing. Oh my God. I love you. I just, I, I'm falling. I'm love girl you crush. Too. Thank you so much. Wow. This is such an honor. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Honor's all mine. Bye-bye. Be careful. Bye. Be safe. Happy, Happy holidays. Bye-bye.